Look, I don't want to be here any more than you do. So just explain to me what you're doing, trespassing on property, and I can decide whether to press charges or not. None of your f That's me. Business. Watch your language. She's sorry. We've just had a very long day. And what she means is, we will gladly tell you everything. And that's Avery, my twin brother. My mother thought we'd both be girls, so he got stuck with a slightly more feminine name than he would have hoped for. I think it suits him though. Anyways. Bullshit! Whoa! Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Now the sooner you can tell me why you are trespassing on private property this late at night, the sooner we can all go home. Fine. It starts with... Now before you start, I'm going to have to ask your brother to leave. I have to make sure that your stories line up with each other. I don't start any of that twin telepathy stuff. Don't throw a copy out of that. Cause I definitely haven't heard that joke before. Now, where were we? So basically, I was broken up with. And what really hurt about this was, is I didn't see it coming, like, at all. I thought we were good. S solid, even. But whatever. I wasn't even sad. I'm a catch. She was heartbroken. Inconsolable. Now, can we just stick with what's relevant? Sorry. Sorry. My brother and I were just in the attic looking for... Boxes. You know, to put all our ex's things in. Until, Until Abe stupidly accidentally knocks over a box of all of our old spy equipment and an X Files box set. Don't tell Mum or Dad we used to watch them. We get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we used to play with this stuff. Back when imaginary monsters were our biggest problems. No way! <laughs> Do you remember that exorcism that we were obsessed with? And do you remember how we made plans to go and investigate it, just like Mulder and Scully would do? But we never did, because we were just kids? Yeah. Look. How could I forget it? Oh my god. <laughs> we were so obsessed. Hey, it's okay. Is it stupid that I'd do anything to live in those memories forever? Is it stupid if I agreed with you? Well, if you agree, it must be stupid. Now you tell me if what I'm about to say next is stupid. So then I tell Bo my idea about going to investigate the exorcism. Just to take her mind off her breakup. The house is literally just down the road, and we've never seen anyone in it. So we kind of assumed that it would be okay to go in. I also kind of assumed that once we got there, she wouldn't, wouldn't have the balls, balls to, to go, go in. in. You first. What? No. You first. Ladies first. Avery. Shut up. Fine. We'll just go in together. Fine. Come on. Just don't call me Avery. Okay, Avery. Ooh, a half-filled cup. I wonder what's in it. Oh, that you drink it. One in... Not a chance. You're no fun. Cheer me up. I'm feeling better already. Good. I'm glad. 
Change my mind. Let's go. I don't want to be possessed. Yeah, definitely. <sighs> oh my god. Thinking about it, it was probably the wind that closed that door. <sighs> Wait, am I bleeding? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's now I'm going to rest you for absolutely no reason. No, that's not what I said. Well, that's what you did. No, no, just go home. So you're not pressing charges or anything? No, just go home and look after your brother. He really cares about you. Yeah, I really do. She's just my best friend, you know. And I love him. Don't, Don't tell her I said, said that. that.